our age is proud of the progress it has made in men's intellectual development. All right, everybody, welcome to another chapter of the Half Life 2 Benchmarks. And I'm very honored this time to be doing it on an iMac and actually have the game function. If you remember, this whole Half-Life 2 benchmark series began almost two years ago when I got my first white iMac and I was running it in a situation where the game did not actually run properly. It was at less than a frame a second. Uh, terrible, terrible performance. But this one actually will run it. So this is my mid-2010 iMac. It's the smaller one. All base specs. You can look up the base specs. A ATI Radeon 4670 card. It does have 8 gigs of RAM in it though, but the RAM doesn't have too much of an effect here. On video settings, if I can zoom in on it, 1080p, auto detail high, texture detail high, I won't put it on very high because I don't care. High, high, water detail reflect world. Uh, it does recommend reflect all, but I do world. Uh, color correction is off, V-Sync is off, multi-core rendering I keep on. There are conflicting reports as to what that does, or what, ha how that impacts your performance. Anti-aliasing is off, motion blur is off. I don't play games with anti-aliasing because I'm so blind that I, can, I can't tell the difference. So, we'll start off with root canal. Now I'll just... So... I'm playing this at a probably 150 degree angle, so <laughs> I might run into walls and shit. Now the only problem I find with this game is it stutters. All Source Engine games stutter. Now this is something that I have tested and it is a bug. I'm almost certain it's a bug. Because I can set the FPS max to anything and it will stutter just a couple frames below that in the same way. So I think it's just a stuttering bug and the game performance is actually perfect. Um, it also could be loading stuff. But when it doesn't stutter, it's really smooth. It doesn't make any sense. It really pisses me off. It does it in Counter-Strike Source, it does it in Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, it does it in everything. As we can see here though, perfectly smooth. When it doesn't do the stuttering thing, it perfect, it's perfectly smooth. So, run through. Runs perfectly playable. Flashlight, however, flashlight is a bit laggy. So, if you do want to use the flashlight, your game will lag. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. There we go, some stutterings coming back in there for a while. It was pretty good. See, explosions don't do anything to the performance. So, it's just some sort of stuttering problem, but besides that, the game runs fine. You can see I'm just flying through the level, no problem. <laughs> Good. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's loading or what exactly it is. I'm sorry about the fucking noise. <laughs> and then water, no problem. Flashlight, see it even stuttered with music. Sorry about the fucking noise. It's an old land video and I got this kind of cut. See, some stuttering though, that's the problem. Is there stuttering? Some motherfucking vortigaunt bastards. 
Uh, water hazard. I'll do the three classics. Then I'll finish it off with um, anti-citizen one, and I'll I'll be totally silent during that part of the video, and then it will just end. Yeah, it's just it stutters. I don't know what's up about that. Like I say, I think it's a bug with Mac in this game because, like I say, it runs like a dream otherwise. There's no problem with it other than the stuttering. I think it's just a glitch with the Mac version of this game, the way they ported it. If I did this in boot camp, it would probably run, like, flawless. Absolutely flawless. I prefer to play it on my Windows 7 computer because it's pretty similar performance, but it doesn't stutter. Unfortunately, though, my screen isn't as nice on my Windows computer. It's only 19 inch and it's TN, so. Yeah, I guess I turn the flashlight on, it gets a bit laggy. Not terrible. But. Shit. Didn't expect that. Yeah. So yeah, it just it's for some reason it's stuttery like that. So Oh, I'll show uh the prison level, Nova Prospect, I'll show that a little bit too. Because that's a classical one that I've shown. I gotta be quick though, because I don't want it to run out for the uh anti citizen one part, because that is the classic benchmark. Um that is the Half-Life 2 benchmarking level. I guess Water Hazard kind of is. Here we go. This part always runs great. This runs great on my D620. It's just the stuttering, man. I don't get it. Well, Half-Life 2 has famous stuttering issues, but I'd imagine those were fixed by now. So, yeah, when it doesn't do the stuttering thing, I mean, it runs like a dream. care to resupply because I'm not trying to play the game seriously. Here we go. So yeah, like I say, man, it runs fine. Yep. No problem. Now I'm going to be quiet and I'll show off the anti-citizen one benchmark, so hope you all have enjoyed this video. Like I say, it runs it runs great other than the stuttering, so maybe I'll find a fix to it eventually and I'll do an updated video, but other than that, this has been another Half-Life 2 benchmark video, and maybe I'll do another one in the future on a laptop or something. Well, I got motherfucking killed, so I had to redo it, but here you go. Catch you guys later.